Oh, we're live. Not. Let me just double check something. All right, we're All right. on the right Wi-Fi. <laughs> we're winning. You guys, welcome today. We don't normally go live on Tuesdays, but tomorrow is my birthday, and we have a laundry list of stuff that we have to get done. And Zeb's like, you know what? Let's just go live. We promised them we would show them um, the items from Saturday that we didn't get painted. So we just picked two small little projects to show you today, and we want to talk about something that there is not a shortage of. There's not a shortage of junk. Anybody else like tired of people saying, oh, there's a shortage of this. There's a shortage of that. There's no more toilet paper on the roll. There's, you know, whatever. But there's always things, whether you own them or your neighbors have them or you thrift them, that you can upcycle, especially as the holidays approach. Yeah. Um, if you find yourself short on cash, um, short on able to find what you want, think about creating something with something that maybe would be discarded. Yeah, and it's really easy, you know, basically all you need is a paintbrush. We're gonna probably throw some stencils and things in here too, but paintbrush and some paint and you're going. And pretty much if you don't have one, I bet you your neighbor does. Yeah, there's always <laughs> things you can paint. So this is just a cute little step stool from our live. It actually already sold. I think I paid like two bucks and I can't even remember what we're selling it for, 18 or something dollars there. Um, whenever I'm painting a stool, I always like to flip it upside down and paint the bottom first, even though you don't really see that because things like this, especially the stool is really small and, um, a lot of times it'll go up on something. So you will see the bottom. I mean, nobody's really going to use this to step on cause it's too small. It's more like a riser. So I'm going to be painting this kind of giving it a fall vibe. I've got aviary from DIY paint. You can pick up the paint and products at jamierayvintage.com. You can also um shop our thrifted and found items at jamie ray vintage yeah, still lots of stuff available from just last saturday yep um so i was thinking this is a kind of like a fun tote really has kind of that fall holiday vibe to me with the natural branch handle and then on the sides they use just a tree limb cut it down the middle looks like they cut the center out of it and that's the sides and it gave it a nice rounded non-uniform look here but I thought that this would be kind of cool to, it's a little on the small side, but if you're able to reload it, it would be cool to just like hand out your Halloween candy in or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, that would be super So I'm cute. thinking of going orange with like a black theme on it with maybe a heavy distress kind of, you know, give it that grungy Halloween vibe. You know, it's um, funny. We one time used a vintage bedpan, like a metal bedpan to hand out candy. It was funny. We cleaned that's it a, first. That's a real thing. It's like trick or treat. It was a trick and a treat. So here we go. This is uh, summer crush. Summer crush. It's I what we painted call it those first crush. I don't know why. First crush is pink. Totally different situation. But we that's the same color we painted the pumpkins with that we made on Waste Not Wednesday. All of those sold, by the way. So yay! Super excited about that. We made those from scraps from a cabinet shop um, that would have just gone to waste or whatever. So I like to. I like to make things from old things it's fun you know what else this could be if you're not going to go hog wild and hit up seven thousand houses on halloween night you could get you could use this as your little halloween that is basket. a weak treat basket you'd have to have a pillowcase to jump in this is for the sophisticated parents treat basket okay <laughs> so, like, we only accept good treats so i'm like uh, so when you're going around and you're at the houses you're like where are the full-size candy bars for the parents you want to know a little secret we do full size we do full-size candy bars at our house <laughs> Yeah. I love Halloween and handing out candy. It's like Jamie's it's like Jamie's one thing. She's like, you know what? We're doing full size and I don't care if the whole neighborhood shows up. Yep. I always have backup candy just in case. And I also always keep um non-edible treats. We have ran out a few years and people were stuck getting like the grab bag of sweet tarts and whatever, but Deb said, How fun. Jamie did a messy bun tutorial. If you guys haven't seen that, it is um, I think I put it up in the uh feed today i know i put it on instagram i'll have to check i think it's on it Facebook might be in too. the group if you guys are on, on the jamie ray vintage group i think it's in there it was a little bit funny to go live and show my hair and makeup routine but was leslie it, had asked was the bathroom to, mostly clean yeah um <laughs> i you could only see our towels in our shower so. well that's normal that's that's allowed to be in a bathroom right yeah, if it's not do. all like perfectly draped you know we the do. towels aren't just like <clears throat> folded exactly <clears throat> excuse me guys yeah perfectly coiffed towels no i it was fun and Did you it's just always say coiffed coiffed yeah, is that like, what that's called i 
don't know. I made the word up. I'll have to Google it later. But I, anyway, I think it's a real word. It just is that you, are you using it right? Look, <laughs> listen, I'm not sure, but my point is. I made the video, and now Leslie knows how the bun is made. I've actually made the video, I think, before. It's been a while, though, so it's always good. Well, we get asked about your messy bun constantly. I have a lot People of People are like, how do you The truth do is my hair? hair, when it's dirty and, like, messy itself, it makes a better messy Ironically, bun. Ironically, no one ever asks me what my routine is. We could, we could film you, but you shave in the shower, so that's not appropriate for TV. I watched a guy that did a – he's a woodworker – and he shaves his head just like me when he showers. And he got in the shower fully dressed and did a uh, brand deal with uh, that one of those like mail-in shave box situations. And he shaved He was in dressed. the shower fully dressed. He's shaving his head, got shaving cream up on there. It cracked me up. I wanted to order right away. You should do it, but you could do just like swim trunks and a swim shirt. <laughs> Keep it PG. All right. Sherry says she loves your hair. Coiffed relates to hair, so Jamie got it right. Yes, Patricia, thank you. Carolyn, this is a surprise live. This is in lieu of today's edited video. This is, we were gonna do an edited video, but we've got so much to do today. We've got the youth coming over from church to swim in the pool tonight and football practices. And if we don't get all of our hit list done today, we're gonna be working on Jamie's birthday tomorrow, which we don't wanna work on her birthday because you know, what's hanging out? Uh, what's if, if I got to work, then she doesn't get to hang out with her best friend on her birthday. That's right. And I also don't know how to <laughs> copy and paste. So it's already pasted if you it won't work it. So just click, I'll just type it. So just click the link and you hit command no. C and command V. Copy and paste. Sarah says that her husband has the same routine. He takes forever to shower because anytime he showers, which is an everyday. Well, lately, I've been throwing on a woodworking video in the shower because my phone doesn't care if it gets wet and i think most new phones are like that but uh <laughs> anyway i've been i've been in there showering and like relaxing and shaving and it's a thing because we don't ever run out of hot water we have a tankless hot water heater that will do 11 gallons of hot water at 120 degrees per minute Kaylin's <laughs> not here today to drop lots of links so i'm just putting jamierayvintage.com and you just get one link and it's probably not going to work because there's not an HTTP, so you might have to do it old-fashioned. But oh. I, I, look, it's on the bottom of our video. Here, it was copied. I tried. I, I have a hard time with laptops. Command V. What in the, what do you mean Command V? That's weird. Command V is paste. <laughs> so how do you huh. get rid of this comment here? Um, you can just, well, it's fine if that's what's on there because people can't click that anyway. That's it's fine. all right. Hold on just a second. Let me, can you tell we're Does not. Does anybody sure? else use the quick commands? Jamie right clicks for everything. I don't, I don't know what quick commands are. Like command V, command C for mm. copy and paste, command X for cut. I used to a lot, but that was cut back in and the day. then command V for paste. I just want to make sure that it looks good. I do it a lot because a lot in, in like doing um, like Photoshop, um, you don't, those, those commands work, but it's easier to, or the, you, when you right click, you're not going to get like, you get like this huge menu of options you can do when you right click. And so it's just easier to hit the command keys or control keys if you're on a PC. All right. I've now successfully painted the screen. Now, wasn't that exciting? <laughs> it's gold underneath. <laughs> I'm going to be stenciling next, but I got to heat gun this. I have the old heat guns. I've had the new one. Donna says she never remembers them, so she right clicks too. I'm glad I'm not the only one. You know, I could spend all day worried about the stuff I don't know, or I could just get crap done. <laughs> so I just get stuff done. It's fine. It's just you're on the Mac, and it doesn't have a mouse. It's just got the trackpad. So if you wanted to right click, you have to two finger. Carolyn, I'm using uh, Aviary. Sarah says, yeah, I do just because I'm too lazy to lift my hands off the keyboard. Me too, Sarah. Oh, Lunchbox Lady said she thought she was watching a replay, didn't know we were live. We are live right <laughs> On now. On a random Tuesday. Uh, I'm really curious as to what you have planned for my birthday. Now I'm pretty excited. You know, ironically, Zeb doesn't really like anything planned. He doesn't like parties. Um, we're not doing a party because it's not a big year. I'm just turning 39. But 
I will be expected to host some sort of party next year. Oh, you didn't put the plug in. I, I realize now that I missed it. I didn't see that back There is a slight repair happening. We're going to plug these with the three-eighths plugs. But I, I do honor Zeb in that I don't throw him big parties. And he honors me because I like to have not big parties, but I like him to do something. And he knows me well. So I'm like, I don't want to tell you. Just figure it out. And he's usually pretty good. Mariah was lamenting the other day. She's like, what are you getting, Jamie? I'm like, I think an ice maker. And then I got to looking at ice makers and all the ones that are, brand new stencil brushes and all the ones that are, do you need me to go get a hammer? I am almost done. All the ice makers that are available that, that she wanted me to put it in here are like industrial strength, like kitchen for a uh, huge restaurants type ice makers. And I'm like, we don't need that. They're like four grand. I'm like, we don't, we're not running a restaurant. We don't need 58,000 pounds of ice every day. Like, who needs so we're putting that on the back burner for a hot minute until I can find one either a used or the uh, lesser the the less expensive models come back in stock. You know, I can buy a lot of ice. She doesn't need $4, ice $4. that bad. For four thousand dollars, you can like fill that freezer up with huge, yeah, with the little pebble ice that you like, like probably for ten years. I don't know if I told you guys. Somebody just asked. I'm using Aviary from DIY Paint. It's actually the color that I helped come up with when they released new colors. It was, it was my color. And then Joanna Gaines painted her kitchen cabinets almost the exact same color. And I was like, whoop, whoop. All right, I'm going to run my heat gun. All right, where's my Oops, stencil? It helps if you plug it in. Okay, I'm doing the number five on here. I love just a good number stencil. These are our JRV numbers. I think these are four inches. Does that look like four inches? Four inch numbers set? Yes. They're our, our JRV stencils. This is a custom font that we had made, um, so it's kind of fun. You can't really get this particular style anywhere else. It's made to look all swirl, so I'm not tapping. It's made to look like old-fashioned, handwritten, like, signs, signage. So normally, for channel members, we do go live on Tuesdays, so this is a public live. Um, Next but week, if we'll you, do If you members. like extra videos, and especially a little bit of the behind the scenes, and maybe some things... A lot of times we talk about things that are coming up that we're working on, um, and we're pretty candid in our regular videos. More so. But in the live stream, it's like you're hanging out in the living room and we've known each other for 20 years and we're just chatting uh, with channel members. It's a lot of fun. And that's on YouTube. And that's normally on Tuesdays, so we're going to push that one back when it's not Jamie's birthday week uh, to next week. And I will have new emojis for next week that you can start using in all of the live streams for channel members and we'll get some printables out too. Look at that, boom, baby. I forgot that I didn't dry the bottom. Hold on. Gotta touch that up. I love how cute, like this is just a really simple stencil, but so cute. And I got white paint where I didn't want it. Okay, I'm gonna keep done that. Munchbox lady says that she's not good at stencils. You know what? 100% the key to it is getting your brush dried off. Jamie's gonna show you how crisp this is, and she didn't even really get it that dry. Partly that's because our stencils are really thick, and, and the brush good is good, and it doesn't push up underneath the stencil, because all those things matter. But really, the key is to get your brush almost dry, like you're gonna dry brush, and then that keeps the paint where it's supposed to be on the stencil, and it doesn't wanna like bleed up underneath your stencil. I'm proof that you don't have to be perfect at something to manufacture it and make your own brand of it. I'm not. Well, I guess it's Zeb's company, too, and he's good at stenciling. I am just not great, but it's all right. My stuff turns out cool. Sometimes People I'm not it. good, though. Sometimes I get in a hurry. That's another thing. If you're in a hurry, um, sometimes your stencil will turn out bad because you can't you can't rush it. You got to make sure that brush is dry. I rush everything. You can't rush it except for when I do. <laughs> the sale is over. Yes. Sale oh, ended Day. last night at midnight. But you can still shop jamieredvintage.com and get free shipping um, on the DIY products, except for, ironically, the DIY paint products. But that's just because the brand does not allow us to do free shipping. So I'm pretty proud of my, uh, my small oh. appliance breakers that I put on the island here. We're running both these seat guns, and the breaker hasn't popped, or the GFI hasn't tripped. I'm going to get green paint on my face. I realize there's another plug missing. So if you ever buy something thrifted, and you can see the screw, they usually you can just put a plug in the hole. These are the oak plugs that they carry at, like, Home Depot or whatever. Yeah. Um, you can just, sometimes I just 
stuff paint in the hole, also an option. Um, but if you, if you do have plugs, this is really easy and you don't need to glue them or anything. This hole's a little bigger than the last one. It's gonna go right in. I, I don't suggest doing this to I, your stencil brush, although yeah. this is a solid wood handle. I think the handles are made out of maple. Yeah, it's a re they're really nice. Somebody was like, these new stencil brushes are so pretty. I'm like, I know. I, I lamented over like how to design them. So they're a dark stain with a matte finish, not shiny. The logo's bigger. And another thing that's cool about these stencil brushes is if you were to remove this ferrule here, they are stained and sealed all the way to the end. So that way, even though you're not supposed to leave them in water, if you do, they're less likely to expand and contract because the wood has a little bit of protection on it. But you shouldn't leave your brushes in water. Live on a Tuesday, Patricia says. Uh, Kim's going to be 59 on Friday. Nice. Nice. I have white swan. Do you not want this? Um, I'm actually looking for the sugar skull stencil. But I'm not finding it. Uh, Leslie, I saw you order. Didn't you order? I, th I think it was like a bunch of stencils, if I remember correctly. We have some new IOD coming out. I don't know if they've given us the official release date, so stay tuned for that in the next few weeks. Um, I have a bunch of new clothes. I just put in my order for, um, we are going to be doing a fall scent, well, fall winter scent, just one candle for the beauty line. We are coming out with a hard dish soap um, that lasts four to six months, depending on how often you do your dishes. Super excited about that. It's going to come in a really beautiful jar. Um, our retailers will be carrying some of these products too if they carry our beauty stuff. And we also have melts coming. They're beeswax, um, the candle and the melt, so they melt longer than just a soy. And then um, I have a body butter that's actually unscented. It does smell good because it's made with cocoa butter, so it's just really yummy. But I went with unscented because I know a lot for gift giving. Sometimes people are allergic to scents or they don't like certain scents. So I thought it'd be fun to come out with a body butter that was really like luxurious and smelled good, but wasn't scented. So hopefully it appeals to a lot of people um, and is priced as such that you can like give it away for Christmas. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, Sherry's going to be 58 in October. Speaking of short on supplies, our apothecary has been struggling to get like the amber bottles but she's found some a new place she's working she's working hard man I'm telling you what like every everything today we were getting our car service oh, and yeah. there was like the lot was devoid of vehicles they had like maybe 10 new vehicles maybe yeah. 15. are you gonna do and, a halloween on there yeah which one are you gonna use the moon or the cats or the crow i'm gonna do so i'm gonna switch it up we're gonna do this is big enough here so this is like the ghost with the cat oh i love that and then we're gonna do the witch over here and then the crow on one that way you know people can just have that out if they want and then the moon on this side oh if, if i can stretch it jamie says she got the white oil wax thanks for showing how to use it we did that a few weeks ago on our waste not wednesday piece that we Cap that was from Zeb's uncle. It is a really great under underutilized product. Um, do we have sandpaper? So in I don't screen? know if you saw me over here. I was offloading, and we just you, you can have a little plate or whatever that you do it on. We just do it on the drop cloth or towel or whatever. Then we get rid of them. This is just a ten dollar drop cloth from Walmart. We usually use them about four or five months and chuck them. They look like art when we're done. I'm going to turn my mic off so maybe you won't hear my sand. Just don't forget to turn it back on. I'll turn it back on. It's probably going to take Yeah, probably. You guys see that good? There we go. Yeah, no cars down at the dealership today. They probably had maybe 20 used cars and maybe 20, if we're pushing it, maybe 20 new ones. And we're like, what is going on? And it's because they can't get the computer chips to make the vehicles. There's like a shortage on all of those supplies and even like metal. And I'm not in the market for a new car right now, but I always, you know, I love vehicles. You guys know. So I'm always like eyeballing what's new and what's coming out. And there's nothing even out right now because they can't even keep up with demand. Okay. Can you guys hear my mic? I turned that back on. Let me know. 
Uh, Sherry says, by the way, Jamie, you have as much style and I love your style as Joanna G. I love Joanna. <laughs> She's fun. I also love Her Liz Marie. If you don't follow Liz Marie Galvin, you should. She just had a market in Michigan and someday I'm going to go. All right. I'm going to show you guys. Can you see this? I just lightly distressed it, but I feel like aviary with the white kind of looks unsealed like an old school chalkboard, which is kind of fun. But I'm going to go ahead and wax this, and then this little stool is going to be done. I need to clean off my wax brush because I use this for those pumpkins. It's a little bit orange, which reminds me, we need the to... The cat is scaring the ghost. We need to get those pumpkins over to the shop so they can ship them. And the thrift hall. Thrift hall is actually sitting oh, right yeah. over here. That's that's next on my uh, to do list, actually. I always try to get it to them by um, Tuesday. Although we have off camera today, we will be painting more things, getting everything complete. Because I I can't relax on my birthday if I have a bunch of work to do. We also need to send our taxes over. We did get them done. Our taxes are done. And we have an amazing tax guy, so I'm super excited about it this year. We're going to get those sent over he to our lender. He was even more amazing than we thought he was going to be. I know. It's Ivy's husband. And she's like, he's good. He's really good. I'm like, I know. We never doubted it. Never doubted it. We were it. just we always just... like, oh, our taxes are such a mess. And they were a mess. It took us still two weeks to get him all the info he needed. Then that was tag teaming. But I'm, this, I'm determined to be more organized. And we're already done with like nine months of 2021 so it won't take us that long to get everything pulled together well i tell you this rounded surface with this stencil is a little tricky i don't know if you guys can see me fighting it over here i'm just using diy oh, clear no. wax what i did her upside down this is a witch and i totally did it upside down she's on she's on her broom against the moon here why don't you just get it. this damp and wipe it off and then repaint it yeah i'll repaint it orange <laughs> I'm just using DIY's clear wax. It's all natural, so this is like totally safe to be doing in the kitchen. And I'm waxing it. It does get kind of dark and splotchy, but it'll dry, and then it'll be just fine. If it's, it's like still, I glazed it. It's like you glazed. Holy happy accidents. I, I did it on purpose so they could see how easy it is. Um, Candace says, I found two brown hull butter cheese top sealed crocs in my neighborhood trash this weekend. Oh, Woo -hoo, that's exciting. That is a, uh, that's a sweet find in the trash. Uh, Leslie got hers done and she has to hand carry it to the IRS office. Is it because you got to have it finished for your loan? Like into the, I guess we could hand carry it to Ogden. That's. You know what? That might be worth a day trip. No, I think we could go junking, turn in our taxes. There. Yeah, they Drop have off good our check. up in Ogden. They do. Yeah, Ogden is where Michelle, I think that's where Michelle Poole's shop is. Maybe it's in Salt Lake. I need to ask her. She's got a new shop. All right, there. so saw I messed up, did it upside down, wiped it off real quick, dried it off so that it didn't smear the black all over everywhere. We own a stencil company, and yet we still screw up, so there is hope for everybody. <laughs> We also have retailers, so if you go to jrvwholesale.com, you can see if there is a retailer near you, but always check to see what they have. We carry a ton of product, and we don't make them Yeah, we're getting quite anything. a few. So, like, some people don't like to wait on shipping. They want to go get their stuff right now and uh, get their project going. Check it out and see if anyone's close to you. Yep. All right. Okay. So you can see that's a lot darker. I'm going to go ahead and right, wipe this do, back. I'm going to do it right side up this time. I, I missed a few spots. You can always tell where you missed because it's light. That's a nice thing. The clay paint. I was looking at it. I'm like, where did we get our heat gun? This is a Wagner heat gun from we get them um, on. We order them on Amazon. They, You can get them most of hardware your local stores. hardware stores will have them. We wore this one out. The one that I used is not great. So we've ordered a new one. They're nice because they're some heat guns are really loud, and these ones put out up to 500 degrees, and they're not super loud, which is great if you're trying to do a live stream. Okay, I'm going to show this up to you. I like the way this turned out. It's so pretty. It will dry lighter. There we go. But just a really simple, I mean, ignore the fact that there's clumps of glue on the bottom. I haven't fixed that, but just a really simple upcycle, and I think I paid like two bucks for this. And now it's really cute. You could stencil anything. If you want it for a holiday, 
We have a bunch of mini packs. So like Zeb's using the Halloween ones. You could do a Christmas tree on here, whatever for a vignette. So never underestimate the power of junk. You, the first place you should always shop for junk is your own garage or closet and think, what do I have that I can paint? I'm gonna get a, that's all green. And make I a little get bit a new, funner. Uh, we seem chipper today. We are chipper. We had friends. Oops, there's green paint all down my phone. We had friends over yesterday and it was so fun. And this is really a good time of day for me. Sometimes Saturday nights are hard because I'm tired, but my prime time is 10 to 2, man. After 2, I always need a nap. I don't get one, but I need one. I'm just wiping off excess wax. You could use an old sock. In fact, my mom is really annoyed at our sock box, so you may start seeing us use old socks. because She's like, I'm going to throw them away. I'm like, no, don't. We can use them for buffing. They're way more eco-friendly than paper towels. All right. I'm going to call it. If you need something to dry faster and it's not super humid outside, you can put your waxed items outside. And as long as it's not too hot, put it in maybe like the shade and they will dry faster. Did we go swimming in the pool? Heck yes. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I did not. I was on the sidelines because there was a lot of kids in the pool. I swam for like two hours yesterday. Zeb tossed kids across the pool for hours. It was hot. And by the time I got done with my work and, and cleaning the garage and grilling burgers, I'm like, I'm getting in. And then it was so hot. The water was like 88, 90 degrees, somewhere in there. It was like, whew. It's not much of a relief, so I hopped into the hot tub, and then the pool felt cold. <laughs> How do you keep the base paint on when waxing? So if this was really shiny when I got started, I would have had to be a lot softer. Did you turn your mic back on? Oh, you did. Oh, You're so good. Um, but just don't scrape it. Also, using a soft wax brush helps. So um, this DIY wax brush is pretty good, or use like a um, sock or whatever. But if it's pulling it off, it's just not dry enough. It does dry pretty quick and hard with these heat guns. So just be careful and don't overwork it. Are you planning on selling the stool? I think the stool already sold. I don't think I don't that Zeb's box this. sold. You know, my fancy box, if you want to be the envy of all the moms that come <laughs> trick-or-treating, because the kids probably aren't going to care that much. The moms are going to be like, yeah, so <laughs> if you go to jamierayvintage.com and you click Saturday Thrift Haul, you can see the items that haven't sold. And there's actually quite a few things that we've painted in stencils from weeks back that haven't sold. So check through there. There might be something fun if you want to buy that. We've been um, doing holiday stuff for like a month now. Yeah, there are some, <laughs> some things in there. Lots of fall. And if it says will be painted and a picture shows it and it hasn't painted it yet, um, then that just means that we're going to be working on it. A lot of people like this stool sold and they had no idea what I was going to do with it. They just bought it so they wouldn't miss it. Um, let's see. Somebody I'm going to show you guys this My up mom close. was her spirit animal. I missed that. Who it was. Did she come when she came out with her mask and she's like. She's funny. Oh, speaking of which, uh, Jen Dune. What is, what's Jen's business name? Rustic Rehabs. Yep. She sent me this mug and it says messy bun and getting stuff done for my birthday. And ironically, you socks. did a messy bun video. I did. Today. And I didn't even know until I opened the box this morning. Um, cheap socks for both Zeb and I for our 20th wedding anniversary. So thanks, Jen. Um, so I think because this is maybe going to have candy and lots of kiddos reaching into it, I'm going to spray seal this with a top coat that's going to cure hard and be non porous. Um, just like Jenna I would, says, like a I tabletop. love me a hot tub. My mom loves the hot tub. We were in it night Sunday night. We went in the hot tub. All right, I cleaned off this brush so it's not all green, so you can wax that and show. Oh, them. I told them I was going to spray seal it. Oh, okay, never mind. I missed that. All right, but I am going to show you close. You could cool brush seal out. it. I don't think you need to spray it, do you? No, I, I was just going to see how dark it gets. I was just going to do a top coat so that it, like kids are reaching into it oh. and candy and stuff. But don't you want to so show that them? it's like wipeable? All right, he yes. doesn't want to. I'll show you. Okay, he does want to. I'm gonna to. get a new brush. Where we're is... in luck. The video was gonna be over, but we're gonna still be here. Oh, Zeb, it did that thing where the video camera popped. Oh, thing I can fix it. There. It just unfocuses it and makes it all not widescreen. You guys must get all kinds of cool gifts. <laughs> I can't complain, it's pretty fun. 
Jen is sweet and amazing. Um, All right, I'm looking for top coat. I don't know if I have it. What would be a it. price after it repurposed? I'm let me look and find the price for that store exactly how much it was. You know, I should know, but well, we showed I, like 82 things. Yeah, I can tell you exactly how much this sold for. Give me just a minute. Oh, products. Oh, hold on. So big top would work. I found the top coat first, which is the Sweet Pickens product. Um, dries matte, which we love because it's kind of kind of goes real well with our farmhouse style. Fourteen ninety five. I think you could sell a stool up to about twenty bucks, depending on the stool. I kept this one priced right because I only paid two bucks for it, and it just took me a little dab of paint and just a few minutes to paint it. Uh oh, I'm getting some glazing. This paint hasn't sat here very long. It's okay. Don't overwork it. Just brush and done. So it's going to be DIY cool. It's a cool paint effect. Can get um, activated and smear. So if you are brushing it, be quick. I suggest if you don't want to smear your stencil, brush on a thin coat, be done, and then come back because once it's sealed, it won't smear. We spray Sweet Pickens top coat, top coat in our HVLP sprayer. So if you go on YouTube, type in Jamie Ray Vintage Paint Sprayer. Tons of videos will pop up, but you can also brush it. He could also use like DIY Big Top. Um, that's also an all natural product. The top coat's a little bit more matte and the Big Top has a little bit more sheen in it. It gave it kind of like a, because it's so fresh and it hasn't sat on here and I just heat gunned it. It's giving it kind of like a glaze, dark glaze. Look. It's going to be good. Um, let's see, Christina, what do you spray seal it with? I'm going to do a dining table. What is the best paint? So any kind of paint you put on a dining table will chip over time, especially if you're not painting on raw wood. So just keep that in mind. Even we've sprayed lacquer on pieces and have them chip over time. It's just the nature of paint. Um, but I would suggest, give, even though they don't require sanding, I like, if I'm gonna be doing a table and painting it, I like to sand the top to give it some tooth. Um, I would use DIY's primer. It's called um, Salvation, Salvation Solution. Salvation Solution. Something clear Sorry. or white. So if you're doing a white base, I would do the white. Yeah, either one is fine. Do a couple coats, let it dry, and then paint it with DIY paint and then seal with Big Top. And then the biggest thing with paint, and I don't care what brand you're using, you need to let it sit for a week on a dining table and then be careful for about a month. It takes 30 days to cure completely. And then after that, you should be able to just use it like regular. Just know that if like you get something sticky, like I had a customer once, her kid had heavy syrup peaches, which is basically like glue, spill out of a bowl. They and left it there for like a day. No, she said it was a week. Was it a week? It sat there for a week. And when she pulled up the bowl, it took off the paint. And I was like, yeah, that syrup is legit. Plus gross. You left it sitting there for a week. Hey, I'm not passing judgment on that because I have five kids and we all know there's been things that have happened that I have not got back to. So you just need to be careful with it. Right, um, I'll give if it's that. a painted surface. <laughs> Another option is you can stain the top and paint the base and stain on raw wood. is going to hold up a little bit more than like a painted surface. So hopefully that helps. Michelle says, love the cute stool. Zeb, what is your paint color? He used so this is summer, summer crush. crush. Perfect. We're getting it. Farmhouse fall color. It's not it's, like a super bright in yeah. your face orange. It's like a a, a warm brownish toned orange. If you want like. like that kind of bright orange, go with Firestarter. Yeah, Firestarter's Home Depot orange. Debbie Jamie, doesn't like Jamie to say basically that. says that too. To use Debbie because Debbie doesn't like a pop carry. We all know how I feel about a pop carry. Okay, I'm gonna heat gun this real quick, show you, and then I think we're gonna be ready to wrap up this quick little live video. Super excited about this. This is actually way cuter, and I actually did not even wanna buy that box. And She's like, why are you buying that? That toast, we just did a branched uh, uh, natural handle uh, branch. I shouldn't second guess. Let me see if last this, week. Let me see if the tote's <laughs> available. I can. Hold on. We've done a lot. Oh, it sold too. This so sold I'll just too? tell you guys. Yeah, I think that was when like one or two sell? dollars and that sold for $16.95. So it was a dollar fifty. Yeah, a dollar fifty. It was sold for $16.95. So if you're looking for resale and you are a maker, think about making things. I know that COVID has had a lot of shortage of wholesale items. And you know what? When the tough gets going, Even lumber. it's going to get tough. Even like lumber pricing. I know and things. it's ridiculous. 
and I refuse to give in. You can still have a cute home, shortage be darned. You might not have anything to wipe your bum on if you run out of toilet paper, but you will have a stool to set your decor on. If you guys right. want to buy these products, um, you can pick them up at jamierayvintage.com. If you want to find our thrifted and upcycled items, just check out our Saturday thrift haul and everything is listed in there. We also have like fun clothes and things like that on our website. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us on Facebook and YouTube. Share this video out if you like it. If you don't like it, still share it. You can say whatever you want. It's all engagement. All right. <laughs> I got to hit you end. You got the power over there. I got the power. And I painted the bottom. Oops. I, I really struggle with this. Don't touch it with your palm. Lift your hand. I'm lifting my hand. <laughs>